So, uh, the main ingredients to make quiche is obviously the eggs. So I've got six eggs here. I've got some cream. It's just your ordinary thickened cream. Some milk, light milk. You can use any milk. And the short crust pastry sheets. So my son, he likes quiches. They are his favourite. Um, so I've got some chopped, diced um, bacon, which I've taken the fat off and the rind. Uh, red onion, which I've just sliced. And just some tomatoes, which I've just sliced. And yeah, just some salt and pepper. And I've got some cooking spray, just to make sure the... Um, the tins don't stick. They usually don't, but just to be on the safe side, I thought I'd just give them a spray. So yeah, so um, first things first, just going to crack the eggs. Quiche is pretty simple to make. I mean, similar to an omelette, frittata, but it's got the um, the short crust pastry for the base. Sorry, and I did um, forgot to mention that I do sprinkle some cheese on top. So that's just your ordinary grated cheese. I mean, you can use feta cheese, which I have used before, but. Um, I'm just going to make the ones that my son likes, which is just your basic uh, quiche Lorraine, which is um, bacon or ham. And just with your milk and cream. So I've got um, half a cup of milk. I've got just some cooking cream and that's just half a cup of thickened cream so I'm going to make these for our lunch today I mean you can cook them for dinner and add maybe a, a salad on the side but I'm just going to have them plain as it is so that's just yeah salt and pepper and then just basically just going to whisk it up. I did take the um, the short crust pastry out probably a good half an hour ago, just to make sure it's um, defrosted a bit. I do usually put the the um, Whatever, I don't know, whatever ingredients I have in the fridge. I've had spinach and ham and tomato. Just your spinach, ham, bacon. I have tried the uh, pumpkin and feta on it before. But yeah, these are the ones that I generally do just whip up. Yeah, so I've just got a, a fork just whisking it up. Just to make sure all the eggs properly you can use a whisk but I do prefer a fork and that's all it is So I've got these um, little trays, tins, tins of trays, <laughs> trays that I'm using. I mean, that's just a basic tart, tart tray, and that's just a pie tart tray. I've, I have used um, a muffin tin before, but um, here goes. So all I'm doing is just going to give them a little spray, 
just so they don't stick. Maybe do it over the sink because you don't want cooking spray everywhere. So this is just my, my short crust pastry. It's pretty thought out a bit. Doesn't matter if it breaks apart, I mean it's still going to be, you can easily just push it together. But yeah, okay, so here we go. And that's just my my sprayed tin with cooking cooking spray. So all I'm going to do is just press it into the tray. Make sure you get the bottom down first. It does make life a lot easier. And there we go, just push it in. Be gentle too as well. Use this little bit just to fill this little gap. And all I'm going to do is just gently. Cut around. You don't have to do this, but yeah, I don't usually do it, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like. And there we have it. There's a knife to just put some holes in the bottom. That's one done. And just to give you an idea, look, what I'm going to do is just use this one. Basically, just going to You do want to make sure the tray does fill with the the pastry. You don't want to put the egg mixture in and well I don't know if that would work anyway, but yeah. You don't want to put the egg mixture in and it's not completely filled. There we have it. That's just my pie tray tin. Just cut this. It is best to cover the um, the short crust pastry with a tea towel or something.
Yep, so um, first things first, just going to put in the bacon bits. Like I said, you can use ham or whatever you have in the fridge, chicken. It's probably best to cook the chicken beforehand, but yeah, I'm not going to cook the bacon. I'm going to keep one plain just for my son because he likes just the quiche Lorraines. Although he does like the ones with the spinach in it, but yeah. And here we go, just going up. Try not to overfill it. I've just got some tasty cheese, some shredded cheese that I'm just going to sprinkle over the top. Like I said, you can use feta or whatever cheese you have. But this is just an ordinary tasty, tasty cheese. And there we have it. They're going to go in the oven for a good, a preheated oven for a good um, 45, 40 minutes, depending on the oven temperature. But I, have, I do have my oven on 190 degrees. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but yeah, maybe convert it. I might convert it in the description. Yeah, so that's all, I'm, all I've done. I've just going to pop them in the oven. But yeah, they're going to go on these trays, which I have lined with um, paper, um, cooking paper, just to be on the safe side. The one's probably a bit overfilled, but yeah, you get my drift. That's it. You're going to go in the oven. So this is my cooked quiche. Um, the last five minutes I, I did take them out, so um, what I'm going to do is, because I like the base to go a bit crispy, probably best to wait for them to cool down, but um, I literally just took them out two seconds ago. But yeah, what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm just going to take them out of the tray and pop them back in the oven just to crisp up the bottom a bit. I mean you can have them as it is but me personally I like to have a bit of crunch on the bottom. And yeah, how I did flip them out is I just used a plate and just kind of flipped them over and just popped them back on the tray. So yeah, I'm just going to cook the bottom a bit for the next five minutes. And there we have it. That's my quick, easy, simple quiches. Let me just cut one to show you what it looks like. Still pretty hot. I literally just took them out. But yeah, we're gonna have these for lunch. I'm gonna 
put the rest of them in the fridge for lunch tomorrow but out of that mixture I did get five quiches yeah so I hope you can maybe give them a try <clears throat> something quick and easy that you can make for lunch or dinner yep so that's my quiche <laughs> so do give them a try it's probably better than the store brought ones a lot easier to cook and make yep so until next time um i'll see you guys soon please like subscribe and comment to my channel okay thank you bye